we have all, all, all been waiting for the wedding, the wedding. <laughs> I'll give you a minute to go grab your tissues. We are getting Eggy in here today because it's the wedding video. I'm gonna show you guys all of my wedding pictures and they're so freaking cute and sweet and you're gonna love it. And so go, go get your tissues. I'll be right here. I'll wait one second. Okay. Okay, you're back, lovely. You guys, I have our wedding photos just over here on my computer. <laughs> my eyes are like already getting like glossy. I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but my eyes are already like twinkling. <laughs> they are a damp already. I'm so excited to share these with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so before we dive in to the wedding photos, the story of the wedding weekend, I have a featured patron for you today. Um, rigged. <laughs> rigged as heck. Here, we could do a draw. And our featured patron today is, oh, would you look at that? Our featured patron today is Jean, this video is for you. Our wedding weekend would not have been the same, not even close, honestly, <laughs> without all of the love put into this weekend. From Jean by Jean. Jean, thank you so much for everything. Wedding weekend MVP and our featured patron today. This one's for you, Jean. So there is so much to cover in this video. This is probably gonna be a long one. I'm gonna give you all the deets of the wedding weekend. So get cozy, get a blankie, get a, get some, some a nice warm little bevy, get your tissues. Don't forget the tissues. Are you guys ready to see some wedding photos? Um, all of the photos in this video were taken by our wedding photographer, Jim Trice. Jim Trice Photography, who is like an actual angel on earth. I'm like, like the pictures are so freaking and beautiful okay I went to do it. okay anyway so um unless like otherwise noted with like maybe like a little asterisk or something um if it's in this video you can assume that it was taken by Jim Trice I will put a link to his photography his Instagram is beautiful if you're looking for wedding inspo holy smokesies check it out he's incredible thank you Jim for all of these beautiful beautiful photos shall we get into it so let's let's set the weekend let's set the stage for the wedding weekend Our wedding weekend took place in Lake Lore, which is in the mountains of North Carolina. It was late October, which uh, can sometimes be all chilly willy freezing cold, but we got so lucky so incredibly lucky with the weather our wedding weekend it was so beautiful it was gorgeous you guys it was like a nice like beautiful 70 degrees so it wasn't hot it wasn't cold it was perfect the leaves were just starting to think about getting all changey they were thinking about it. They weren't quite there yet, but they were thinking about it. So most of our guests came out for the whole entire weekend. So they were able to like go out on the lake. Some people like rented little boat tours. Some people got canoes, people would go fishing. There's like beautiful, beautiful walking trails out there and hiking and all kinds of things. And everyone was able to just get outside and enjoy the mountains of North Carolina, which are so gorgeous. The weather was perfect, oh my god. I still can't believe it. I feel like we won the wedding weather lottery. It was beautiful. Anyway, okay. <laughs> if I talk this much about every little detail of the of the weekend, you just imagine how long this video is gonna be, okay. The weather was perfect, period. Our wedding venue is right there on the lake, right on Lake Lure. The 1927 Lake Lure Inn and Spa. this venue for our wedding weekend because of the feeling it gave us, both of us, V and I, the moment we stepped inside of it the very first time. This place is spooky ooky, you guys. <laughs> when we walked in to the Lake Lure and, and Spa, the, uh, like, the lobby is 
spooky. It is covered in like old, super, super old antique musical devices. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> They're like really old music machines, I guess. There's like a piano that plays itself. Spooky pictures on every wall. The furniture is spooky and weird, like it has just the spookiest vibe about it. It had just so much personality, like everything about it. Spooky ooky. I loved it. I loved it. When we walked in, we were both like, we looked at each other and we're like, this has big like overlook hotel energy. This place is weird, weird. <laughs> like it was so creepy. I took this picture of me <laughs> sitting in the lobby, <laughs> like looking fully like a ghost. And the thing is, is like, this hotel, they don't lean into it at all. Like, they don't try to be spooky, they just are. And our first introduction to, like, the the person who runs, like, the events at this hotel, like, the first convo we had with her back in the day, we were like, wow, this place is really spooky. And she's like, you think so? Like, they don't lean into it at all. And I was like, it really looks like, like, the Overlook Hotel, don't you think, from The Shining? And she was like, you know... People tell me that, but like, I've never seen it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> naturally spooky. I love it, I love it. And on the year that our wedding was meant to be, originally, 2020, Halloween was on a full moon, daylight savings time Saturday. This venue was perfect. Fast forward what feels like forever <laughs> to our new date, October 23rd, 2021. And the venue was still so very, very perfect. original wedding date was Halloween 2020. We planned this whole event as if it were happening on Halloween, okay? So just keep that in the back of your mind for this whole wedding weekend. It's meant to be on Halloween, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. So as our wedding was meant to be on Halloween, we wanted to throw the most epic costume party, the most epically amazing Halloween party of our lives to like welcome our guests to North Carolina. This costume party, you guys. <laughs> so we threw a costume party, welcome party, bonfire on the beach across from the inn the night before the wedding. So our first time seeing everybody that weekend was in Halloween costumes. I just get so excited remembering it. It was so freaking fun. It's like so delightfully Alexa, right? <laughs> the first time I see all of my family, my besties, everyone, everyone <laughs> in like dinosaur costumes, fully in costume. God, I love it. <laughs> and, 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 and not only did I love seeing everyone's costume, my costume was an absolute dream. I have been wanting to do this costume for years. That is not an exaggeration. Like pretty much my entire teenage and adult life, I wanted to do this costume. And I finally had the power <laughs> to force my squad to do it with me. Jack and Wendy, Danny, the Shining Twins, and the Lake Lore and in Spa as the Overlook Hotel. ourselves a cute little photo shoot up at the inn before heading down to the costume party because the Lake Lore Inn 
was part of our costume. It was one of our characters. We needed her and oh, oh, <laughs> oh it was perfect, perfect, perfect setting for our Shining Squad costume. I love this photo shoot so, 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 so much. Oh my god. These side-by-sides specifically, oh my god, dead. I am dead deceased. How did I even make it to the wedding? I do not know. But spoiler alert, I did. I made it there. And it was even better. So after our little photo shoot in the inn, I added some snow to my future popsicle husband, Frozen Jack. Which by the way, if you are wondering what's going on with his hair, we had to be especially thoughtful about our costumes for this party. His wig here is glued to a beanie, so the cap of the wig and the lace didn't like irritate his head. He has like a skin fade haircut and like if he had any kind of irritation from the wig, you'd have like red marks all over his head for our wedding. <laughs> Which like maybe not ideal. So that's what that is also. I so desperately wanted to be the version of the Shining Twins that are just, just, just drenched in blood, stripping with blood. But I absolutely did not want to be stained pink on my wedding day. So sacrifices, I guess. So then it was time to make our entrance into the most immaculately decorated costume party. <sighs> so then like after the snow, we were walking over. What if, what if my bride's people and, and one of these groomsmen like kind of met up with us along the way and they were dressed as Mario and Luigi and we're like, oh my God, yay, what's up, your cousin, whatever. And then we were like, gonna enter into the party, right? And we were like, yeah, so like, you guys can't enter with us. You're not part of this. <laughs> we can't have like Danny, Jack and Wendy, the Shining Twins, Mario, Luigi. <laughs> it's not the same. So we're like, can you guys either like go now or enter after us? Oh my God, incredible. <laughs> so Nick, Jenna's husband, who was our Danny, me, 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 Danny's not here right now, Mrs. Doris. He was our Danny. And he had a tricycle, like a legit trike. So he went like zooming down the path and turned the corner into the party and everyone was there and it was amazing. So he, he like went in and like beep beep and just like drove into the party. And behind him, Jenna and I were like holding hands with our faces like completely deactivated. Followed by me and our officiant, Rochelle, who was Wendy. Oh my god. I had to like completely just like black out. I was like, I can't, if I see everyone I love in their costumes as I'm walking in here, which I'm just, I'm gonna like freaking start sobbing or or like smiling from ear to ear. I have to just like not look at anyone <laughs> because I'm a freaking shining twin. I have to just be like completely deadpan, like no. So I didn't look at a single person. I just had like a, and then we made our interest and then I was like, oh my God. I would see everyone all dressed up for me, for us, for Halloween. my life up to that point because you know I did get married the next day <laughs> so but it was incredible the costumes were so amazing and people like went all the heck out on their costumes and it just made my heart just like fly I'm so happy and just looking back on it I'm getting all like ah, I can't believe everyone did that for me and feel so lucky <laughs> I just so loved I feel so 
love it. Like, like Bea's grandma is all dressed up and it's just like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, just like a standout memory from that night is like, like holding Jenna's hands and just skipping in delight around this party. I will never, ever, ever, ever forget this. It was like my favorite thing ever. It was like a nice toasty warm fire and like, we had a psychic. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, the next day, the wedding day. Me and I weren't staying in the main inn. Um, we were in a little cabin on the property called Johnny's Cabin. Oh, I guess I should mention that Dirty Dancing was in part filmed at the like Lure Inn and Spa, which is like like the thing that I think was at like this hotel. And that's what they really lean into on their like marketing and like branding stuff. They're like Dirty Dancing, and I'm like, this is the spookiest place I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Lake Lure, the town, is 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 kind of that way, you know, like where like one big thing happens in a small town, and that's like the whole the whole town's identity forever they're like you go into like a little convenience store and they're like dirty dancing hi <laughs> you know so uh, there's, uh, there's a few little cabins that are like baby's bungalow johnny's cabin strangely no reference to the shining anywhere i don't know but we were staying in johnny's cabin and there's like this giant giant tub in there and i was like Hmm. <laughs> I spent the whole morning, like, being his friends, his, his groomsmen and stuff, they, like, went out and they went zip lining, they did all this stuff, and I was just like, I'm just gonna take a long bubble bath for, like, three hours and sob while I practice my vows. <laughs> it's literally what I did all morning, I just sat in the tub and cried. Um, but, but once the day was kind of, like, underway, <laughs> the boys got ready in Johnny's cabin. decorated the room to be all spooky for me like how cute are they <laughs> i mean okay naturally kind of spooky but they like put like spider webs in there like little pumpkins in there god they're just so cute so cute oh my god i love them <laughs> and then at one point my <laughs> my mom pulled me out to go look at the arbor that they were setting up come like check on how things were going like just see the arbor make sure they were doing an okay job and oh my god they were doing more than okay it was like absolutely fantastic so beautiful like i almost cried just seeing it like before it was even done before there were like pumpkins everywhere but it's like the arbor was like all dressed up in like our, our wedding color flowers with like some light pink like chiffon hanging down and then there's like little white pumpkins all stuffed in in with the flowers it's so cute and there was like little pumpkins with like little candles and stuff and oh my god <laughs> prints of sound waves of songs that are special to each of them. They're all musically inclined people, all of his groomsmen. They all share like memories and bonds through music. For his brother Chris, a song that they would like scream sing in the car <laughs> as kids, Shine by Collective Soul. So cute. For groomsman Sean, Rain Song by Led Zeppelin. Um, this is the song that they've always played together on guitar anytime that they like jam out. 
I'll take pics you can hear for 500. I loved this idea for his groomsmen. It's so like, it's so them. It's, it's so special, it's so, so sweet. And it's like, it's just so personal because he, you know, he picked songs that made him think of them. And it's just like, it's so sweet. I love that. And of course, baby metal for Lyles, of course. <laughs> but actually, it's really sweet. Oh my God. So I love the idea of like these song prints for these, for these fellas. <laughs> but I wouldn't like totally recommend the shop that we got them from. We had a few bumps along the way. It was not like the smoothest sailing experience. <laughs> so I'm not gonna link the shop for that reason. It's not a, it's not like a 10 out of 10 recommendation, but they are on Etsy if you, if you do feel like going and like tracking them down because it is like a super special gift and I would understand if you would want to, but I would say if you are gonna order it, don't do like the frame bundle, just get the prints and find some frames somewhere else. <laughs> also, our prints were the wrong size, so maybe wait and get the frames once you get the prints of it. <laughs> okay, now if you do want a 10 out of 10 recommendation, my gift <laughs> to my brides people, a thousand out of 10. They were, I would say, equally as special. We both did custom art for our wedding people. <laughs> art that was chosen specifically for the person receiving it. I commissioned an artist uh, that is very special to me. Oh, hold on. I gotta go get something. Okay, hold on. You guys may remember this picture even. We commissioned this art years ago. A pic of me and him and popsicles for my birthday. I just cherish this so, so much. It's so special to me. So I wanted to hire the same artist to make pictures for my wedding party. Her name is Rachel Joy. Rachel Joy Design. Oh my god, Rachel. <laughs> Okay, so based just off of my descriptions of my besties, like she doesn't even know these people. <laughs> she is so perfectly drew and, and watercolor painted these memories with Katie. This fantasy of Rochelle's <laughs> and these cutie little witches, Alexa and Monica. It's so precious. To me. It's so beyond precious. Look at their faces when they open them. Oh my god. <laughs> my heart. My heart. Speaking of my brides people, it is probably time to introduce you to Togozo. A to go Suezo. <laughs> Hi Suezo darling. <laughs> so because one of my darling brides people could not attend the wedding due to border restrictions at the time. We had a cardboard cutout <laughs> made of Suizo in their bride person dress and then we just like carried them around with us everywhere we went. <laughs> oh Suizo we missed you. And now I leave them kind of like in my room sometimes <laughs> so that I'm not lonely but then if I walk by my room and my door is slightly open and Togozo is like standing there in the dark, it gives me an actual heart attack every single time. So <laughs> sometimes we get to hide Togozo because it scares me so much. I love you, but you're terrifying. Which honestly, I could, that, you would probably love that description of yourself, wouldn't you, sweet <laughs> crown. I feel like I have to give you guys the deets. My dress is Allure Bridal. It is the style number 9500-9500 in the color Almond Champagne Nude. And my crown, which is, oh my god, it, it, this is exactly what I was dreaming of. My crown is from an Etsy shop called Night Whisper Lolita. And it's a Lolita crown, but it is also just the most stunning 
wedding crown. When I was thinking about like my wedding look, my wedding vibe, I, this is my queen era and I wanted something to reflect that. I didn't want, I know it's pretty common for people to do little like tiaras or something, but I wanted like a whole ass crown. <laughs> I didn't want to do just something all little teeny tiny. Like this is not me, but you know it's me, this. <laughs> I wanted it to be a full crown. I wanted it to have like draping pieces to come down. I don't know. I, I feel like the, the stars aligned and Night Whisper Lolita showed up in my Etsy search because I also specifically wanted a crown where, where the like top spiky part went inward. I just feel like it's so feminine and beautiful and just like the, this is the queen crown right here. It's just so lovely. Here it is in detail up close. It's so so perfect. It's perfect with my dress which is that like champagne-y almond color. It's like they were actually made for each other. It's so beautiful. It's just everything. It's everything that I dreamed of. I finished getting ready. I did a first look with my dad. My dad, my hero, my favorite. <laughs> Tissues, get them. <laughs> married Brendan and I on October 23rd, 2020. Um, our guests went to a cocktail hour and we did like family formals like the photos things I'll I'll spare you most of that because like you guys don't know these people <laughs> But here are a few of my faves The most important thing that I want to say here though is to make sure you get photos with people you never have photos with like this photo here This is one of the most special people on this planet to me. I talk about her here time and time again. My favorite person, my best friend, Beast Mom, our featured patron. <laughs> and I have almost no photos with her. After all this time, this one means a lot to me, Jim. Thank you. decor detail 
else that I want to mention here is our guest book, 5 million out of 10 recommend. This is from an Etsy shop called World's Sweetest Signs. You can customize what it says on the skulls. It has our date um, and our names. And then we had all of our guests like a sign. <laughs> coffins and baths you know most people who do drop frames for their like for their wedding guest book are like sign a heart and drop it in i'm like coffins and bats are perfect thank you <laughs> speaking of decor let's talk about pumpkins <laughs> so using pumpkins as decor um, even though it was a ton of work to carve so many pumpkins, it was really, really special because we could make them so custom to us. We did our centerpieces, table numbers, um, patterns and designs, but we also had more personalized pumpkins, like one in memory of our hammy pea pod. Of course, we also have a Pipsicles one too. And even Hawaii, where we got engaged. One of the most special, like, story punkies, one of my most favorites, was this one. Which, at first glance, may look like nothing. <laughs> this is the album art of Mono's Hymn to the Immortal Wind, the CD that B gave me the day after we started dating. My birthday, May 4th, 2009. It's forever ago. Track number five from this album, Follow the Map, is the song that I walked down the aisle to on this day, the day of my wedding. Ah. <laughs> okay, back to the wedding. I barely remember dinner, that was a blur. These spooky haunted pictures uh, kind of sum up my memory pretty well um, of this time. Jim Trice, amazing. <laughs> I barely remember dinner except for the mushy mushy speeches made by Brendan's brother Chris and my best friend Doc. It was so sweet, they're so sweet and mushy and they had their room cracking up. <laughs> Except for when Doc was clouding on the Patriots and B's Massachusetts family looked like this. Our cake was... <laughs> God, there are no words. It was so beautiful. So delicious. This cake was made by our dear friend and incredibly skilled baker and cake decorator and super hottie, Shelby, everyone. <laughs> this part was also a blur, but I just kind of remember like pointing and screaming, she made this, she made this, <laughs> over and over again, like a proud mom. Oh, <laughs> Shelby, I love you. Mm. Oh, oh, and in addition to being the most beautiful cake made by the most beautiful lady, so delicious. Two different flavors. The top was one flavor, the bottom was another. Let me come closer. Cinnamon spice cake with mixed berry filling and cream cheese buttercream. Oh my god. And the other one was a chocolate cake with salted caramel buttercream. Mmm, <laughs> yum. I felt like that, that deliciousness needed to be whispered at you. <laughs> how are you feeling? Tell me, how do you feel right now? Okay, okay, first dances. Dang, I wish I could play the songs here to set the mood. Oof, YouTube could never. <laughs> Chris Stapleton's More of You. My Dance with My Papa. 
was thank you by Led Zeppelin here I'll give you like the timestamps so that you can hit play on Spotify and pretend that you're with us <laughs> thanks YouTube thanks My best friend, <laughs> okay, I mean his mom, his mother, my best friend, his mom was to You Can Never Hold Back Spring by Tom Waits. <sighs> erupted on the dance floor. dance party at the wedding it's like there's freaking blood like dancing around and hopping around and scream singing and all of that stuff and I just wanted to make sure that we had like a sick dance party at the wedding and it did not disappoint it was so much fun what is this one what is happening here oh my god everybody's having so much fun it's the cutest thing I've ever seen and 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 Again, I could never <laughs> play this audio on YouTube. But please enjoy some royalty-free music while, while the besties passionately jam to My Chemical Romance. Oh my god, it flew by. The dance party flew the heck by. As soon as I blinked, it was like, oh no, this is the last song. This can't be the last song. We just started. I could have done that for like hours, hours more. And I have a new signature dance move, which involves holding the crown while jumping and scream singing. So like in like all of my dance pictures, I either have uh, one hand on the crown or at some point my crown just disappeared. I don't even know. <laughs> I cannot be held responsible. I don't know. It was like one of the one of the coolest parts, actually. I thought about having your own wedding because you know you've been to weddings before, you know what they're like. But one of the coolest things about it being your own wedding is when you're dancing on the dance floor and you're hopping around, you're bopping, and then you kind of bounce from like group to group. You know everyone. 
It's so cool. Like I could be like jumping and then I do kind of like a little spin and then I have like a, this other group of people who like don't know these people at all but I know both of them and then I'm like, oh my God, look at you're here and you're here and we're all dancing, it's so fun. It's like the coolest thing. It's like the most surreal experience and like one that you'd be hard pressed to find outside of like your actual wedding. Like, so cool, it's so cool, it's the best feeling. Um, okay, okay, <laughs> just had so much fun. <laughs> okay, <Whew>. okay. <laughs> that was the end of the night wow how oh, very special it all was so thank you to everyone who came my family my friends who traveled for us who got vaccinated everyone who made this weekend so unforgettable thank you theresa and terry and gene and shaw and all of the family that helped put this wedding together and like spent their time and energy and effort decorating that weekend they worked so hard and it was so perfectly beautiful like it was a dream it was a dream and i didn't even have to lift a finger they did it all for us <laughs> They are like the stars of the weekend. I'm just I'm so grateful for the the showing of love. I felt I felt it. I felt so loved. And 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 I still do feel so loved and I just I feel very very lucky. I feel so lucky. What a great weekend. What a great wedding. What a great husband. I mean, that worked out. <laughs> what a great family I married into. What great friends we have. What a great tie, what a great venue, what a great crowd and dress and photos, what great photos, Jim freaking Trice everyone. Oh my god, I love you all, I love you all so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna go cry, I'm just gonna go cry for a little bit. <laughs> and look at my pictures some more and just remember because I will never forget. Alright, thank you for watching, I love you all so much. Bye, friends. <sighs> <sighs>